The abyss is different. So the abyss, it's about a group in a submarine way down at the bottom of the ocean, right? Very deep. So complete isolation. Again, you get all the emotions that come from that, that, that tendency towards emotionalism come out of complete isolation. And I don't remember all of, uh, I don't remember everything about the abyss, but, but the key about the abyss is that during this time down in the submarine at the, at the bottom of the ocean, they encounter an alien with very little information about the alien. They encounter an alien. And then every one of them responds to the alien differently. So, so the military guy who's suffering from uh, the disease that you get when you go down into the, into the depths too fast, right? He becomes paranoid. So his lead motivation is fear, and he does everything he can, and he acts in every way out of fear. So it's how do we know stuff? What motivates us to act? One guy, it's a conspiracy theory. You know, another guy, it's fear, but he's more rational than the first guy, but he's still, most of his motivation is to fear. And then you've got the two lead characters. And the woman, in this case, uh, played by, I forget her name, but she's a wonderful actress. She's curious. She wants to study it. She wants to figure it out. She's not taking anything for granted. She's not fearful, but she's not, you know, she just wants to, she's, she's in awe. You know, we're, we're meeting an alien for the first time in human history. This is cool. And I, and I want to study this and I want to figure it out. And, and I'm afraid, but I'm not so afraid that it's going to dominate. It's going to rule over my cognition. And I'm not going to let my emotions rule what I do. And she's constantly trying to communicate with the alien, trying to figure out what it wants and how, who it is and, and how it relates to. And then there's her ex-husband who's in the submarine as well. And he is more cautious than her, but again, he respects her. And he also has the general attitude of, wow, this is cool. What does it mean? How do we deal with it? And he's, he's, you know, he is also the, the, the man of action. He is the one who is going to actually, at the end of the day, engage with the alien and save everybody and, and, and actually, you know, anyway, I don't want to give it away. Although the ending is horrible. The ending is stupid and it's even stupider. In the uncut version, you start seeing James Cameron's weird uh, philosophical views in the uncut version, and it's awful. So, um, you know, I, 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 both of those movies, with the exception of the ending of The Abyss, I think are excellent movies about how different people in extreme circumstances deal with those circumstances epistemologically. That is, how do they think about them? How do they use their mind, right? It's just a model. Do you focus on reality? Do you engage with the virtue of rationality? Or do you let your emotion swamp, swamp your, your, your reason? In, in both of the movies, it's about collecting facts, figuring out what's right and what's wrong, what, well, what works and what doesn't work, what will save you and what won't save you. There's a wonderful scene in the abyss where in order to, I don't know, escape a situation, they have to be basically put themselves in a state that, or the, the lead character has to put himself in a state that basically is as close to death as you can be. He actually has to freeze his body as close as it, 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 it can be to death. And he can do that. The only, that's the only way he can save his ex-wife who, whom he still loves and save himself, hopefully, because then he's, he gets revived, you know, uh, revived afterwards. And it's very powerful. And again, he's thinking. How do we get out of the situation? What do we do? How do we do it? And it's constantly, it celebrates the human mind. It celebrates the ability of human beings to think under stress, under the worst kind of stress you can imagine, out of the life and death circumstances. And both movies, Aliens and the Abyss, take you to that extreme, put you in that extreme situation. And then the heroes are the ones who emerge as the rational, as the ones who can use their mind under extreme situations and solve problems in the extreme situations. In that sense, it celebrates rationality. Oh.